we're out here in the field this morning and I figured I'd take the opportunity to talk about the fine tune adjustments on the limit systems for an Apollo or NICE brand uh, 8300 and 8500 people ask me about this a lot there's a lot of confusion um, so when you're making macro or large changes you actually loosen this nut so that you can move the entire uh, cam on that uh, axle um, but that gets you close okay but you you'll find here there's a slot in the side of every tip of these uh, limit cams where you can slide your allen um, wrench in there and in this situation I'm adjusting the close limit of this gate and the close limit cam happens to be at the top right now it's not always the same so uh, just be, keep that in mind so for this video the closed cam is on top. I need it to trigger a little bit later because there's a gap over there about two inches. So I'm gonna turn this one counterclockwise and you should see that cam just slightly back off of that switch. Just, just a hair. Now we're gonna test run it. Always bring it off the limit. I bring it off the limit. I open the gate halfway and then I come back at it using the buttons on the board. So I'm gonna open it. You press and hold down the open button while you're in the learn mode. Don't do this while it's in the, uh, the regular operational mode. Okay. And just start opening the gate slowly. Okay. And bear in mind that whenever you press and hold down the open or close limit on the board, it takes about anywhere, I, I want to say it's about eight seconds before it actually starts to move. And it moves typically about 30 to 50% of full power. So this little creep is normal. All right. and now I got the gate about halfway and then I press and hold down the close button Let's see how long this takes Four. so about six seconds on this when it started to move I'm gonna find out where it stops here naturally and you'll see that cam on top is rotating towards the switch And the switch obviously is that black mechanism with the little nub sticking out that the white cam is approaching. It's triggered it. Now let's see what kind of gap we have over here. And bear in mind, don't bother to adjust your limits until your chain's tension is correct. All right, that's a little tighter than I usually like it to be just because when it's running at full speed, it tends to coast a little bit. So you'll find that this gap gets slightly smaller once the gate is in full operation. But I'm gonna find out what this gives me. Um, no, I'm gonna back it off just a hair. So that's the, that's the concept that you need to understand. It's not difficult uh, once you're aware of this little eccentricity. Come in here sideways on that tip that that allen wrench in there and obviously on the close on the open limit it's the same way it's just inverted basically okay and you won't find that you can always get to your slots oh that's the other thing you can get to your slots from either side of the cam okay from either side of the cam uh, but they're not always in a position to where you can use the fine-tune adjustment so you can actually physically mechanic you can use the emergency release and you can physically move the gate uh, by hand to get this cam in a better position if you need to but what I find is if you're already in that open or closed position Respectively that you're adjusting. It's usually where you need it to be. Okay. I Think that'll be it for that For those unsure about the adjustment of the limits on a nice Apollo 8300 8500 um, The limit cams are actually underneath this cover and the Allen wrench the manufacturer conveniently provides to you for adjusting these cams. 